Police say a traffic stop turned into shots fired and a police pursuit. The wild chain of events in Saratoga Springs put a neighborhood on alert and the suspect in the hospital. New specialist Andrew Adams spoke to one woman tonight who had an unnerving encounter with that suspect. Andrew? Well, a woman was doing construction work at her mom's apartment when the guy came to the door. She says he looked desperate and just didn't know what to do at that point. It was crazy. It was so close to home. If only she saw what was just outside. There's cops, case everywhere. It would have been concerning enough. There was police walking everywhere with guns, and it was, it was crazy. Lori Sanderson says before that, though, a stranger pounded at the door. He came and answered it, and this man pushed his way in, and he just said, I need help, I need help. And he turned around, and he had a bolt hole in his back. Turns out he was the suspect. So late this afternoon, one of our officers made a traffic stop. Saratoga Springs police say the man was the driver of this car that initially was part of a traffic stop. Detectives say when officers learned he was a suspect in some serious crimes and was considered armed and dangerous, the situation escalated. Something happened at a certain point and shots were fired. Officers say the car drove off, but the driver eventually bailed, running into this neighborhood. Eventually, they found him and took the injured man into custody. I was like, you need to leave. I kept trying to push him out, and he said to call his brother, and I said, okay, you just get out. You need to get out. After the ordeal was over, Sanderson remained rattled. I don't know. It's just scary if he had had a gun or if I hadn't been here. Who knows what could have happened. She was just grateful. Nobody else got hurt. Yeah, at first there was a lot of adrenaline, and now it's just a little scary. Well, the woman said it looked like a gunshot wound. Police didn't specify the nature of the injury. They say the suspect was taken to the hospital to be checked out. They also didn't say what the serious crime was where he was a suspect, though they said it was linked to a state investigation. Back to you. Well, that would be scary to have that experience. Andrew, thank you.